Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. 70 degrees out here this morning. Another warm morning. Wow. Dolphin right offshore up here. I just saw a dolphin come up right up here close to the beach. You run over here and catch it quick. I don't know which way it's going. Right offshore here. Straight out in front of me. There's two of them. to the north. All right. I don't know if you can see them out there or not. Darn it, they're getting further away. There's one of them. There's the other. They're right up here by the beach a minute ago. It's coming right straight towards us. You gonna come up? It's coming right at us. Ah, thought he was gonna jump up out of the water. In front of me. I love it when we start our beach walks seeing a dolphin. Two of them just feeding here in area two. There's the second one. Making our way north, slowly up the beach. That is wonderful. Great way to start the day. Seeing two dolphins. Second one's coming in here. Keep it going. See the water rippling right here in front of me. Where are you going, bud? Not jumping out of the water. There he is. How cool is that, huh? Happy Tuesday, everybody. Now they're getting a little further out now, further offshore. side of the sandbar now. We might turn around and come back in here. I'm going to keep an eye on them out there. It's beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. They're just hanging out. Boy. They're just hanging out by the sandbar out there. Where'd they go? There he is. See him just kind of floating there in the water, not even moving. Wow. Just hanging out there. I lost the second one. There he is over on the left.
They're not moving very fast. Water's too deep. I'd walk out there, but here comes one right over here. Coming in. Where are you going? Right where that water's swirling around. Here on the left. Where'd you go? Ah. They are not jumping out of the water like they usually do. Where'd you go? I think he's still there where that water is swirling around. See the bubbles, yeah. I saw his nose stick up. There he is. The other one's much farther out. Ugh. Wow, what a great morning. Well, he's coming back here. Well, there's the second one. Now they're both out here. What direction are you guys going? I'm guessing where they're gonna pop up here. One over here on the left. Where'd you go? You can see him right out in here. Come on, buddy. Good look at it there. How awesome is this, huh? Get our morning started with a dolphin sighting. Beautiful clouds out here. I've just been showing you the dolphins. It's absolutely gorgeous out here right now. We've got some nice colors in the sky. 70 degrees. As soon as I walked out here, bam, two dolphins. Two dolphins, first thing this morning. We've been following them since I started here. Just slowly meandering up the beach. We started down in area two, at the north end of area two. you go. Thought you were coming in closer. You're just sitting there. Just sitting there. That is so cool. My favorite, favorite part of a beach walk, watching these dolphins. There's another one over here to the right. See if it comes up here. Where'd you go? Just saw it pop up. Come on in close to shore. Give everybody a good look at you. Yep, there it is over here. We're moving a little further offshore now. They're slowly making their way north here. That's so cool. I'm gonna pop out to the wide mode, hang on. 
You can see if they come back here, if they come in closer. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I didn't even get to give you a look around yet. I'm so excited about seeing the dolphins. Absolutely beautiful. Two dolphins feeding offshore here. One's out there, the second one's up to the right. Just taking their sweet time moving up the beach this morning. Beautiful out here though, absolutely beautiful. Loving it. Welcome to Southwest Florida. Where did you go? Where did you go out there? They are not in any hurry. Here comes one over here. There's one right out there where that water is rippling. See if he comes in close to us here. Where are you at? Where did you go? Over here. Where did you go? Come on, camera, focus. Oh, what are you? There you are. There you are. Oh, getting ahead of me now. Getting ahead of me. They are just hanging out here, taking their sweet time. Must be a lot of fish out here. Here he comes again. out here. You can just see their, his nose popping up out of the water. Just blowing some bubbles. Hanging right up. There was his nose sticking up. Really close here. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful animal. He's going to swim back out. He's over here now. I was wishing to see a dolphin for quite a while. There's both of them. They're back together now. Moving up the beach here. One dropped off. I think one's in the back here. I don't know where they went. I don't know if they're both together, let's see. I think they're together now, swimming out into deeper water. Oh no, coming back at us. fun. It's a challenge trying to figure out where they are, believe me. First they're together, then they separate. But they are taking their sweet time moving up the beach here this morning. Very, very cool. Very cool.
We've been following them now since the start of my beach walk. Perfect timing this morning. All right, where'd you go? What a blast. What a blast. Swimming towards the other one. See if we get a look at the both of them. They're headed towards each other right now. There's one. There's the second one. Whoa, that one was chasing something there. It really kicked up the waves. Where are you going? Where are you going? You coming in towards me here? Where are you at? Over here. Where are you going? Right out here in front of me. I'm gonna have to be careful, there's a big jellyfish right under my feet. The other one's right over here. Both of them, not too far offshore here. Taking their sweet time without moving up the beach now. See if they decide to turn and come in again. Where'd you go? Definitely getting farther away from me. Definitely getting further out there. There's another area they might come in closer at. comes. One's coming in closer, I think. Maybe not. Hang on. I think there's one over here. One out in here. I'm not sure. It looks like the water's rippling out there. Yep. One right there, one, darn it. Where'd you go? It's hard following them. You might think it's easy, but it's not. You gotta kind of guess where they're gonna pop up. Playing mind games with the dolphins.
just amazing. What a great morning, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that share button. If you're enjoying our beach walk. I think there's, I think I see the dolphin, another one right out here. Some water rippling out there. Could be a dolphin. I don't know. Yep, it is over here on the left. It's gonna come in closer. Hanging out under the water there. There he is. There's the second one behind it. They've been kind of going back and forth. Back and forth this morning. Not in any big hurry. Loving it. Isn't that cool? So much fun this morning, following these guys up the beach. Oh, now they're really getting ahead of us. They're not leaving much of a trail. Not leaving much of a trail here for us to follow. <laughs> There's a bunch of them out here, those darn things. The jellyfish. Almost stepped on them twice. Following these dolphins. What a great, great morning. There's one more spot they might come in here in the north end. There's a pelican flying by. Okay, where did you go? Where did you go? All right, where did you go, guys? There they are, up here. They're getting further away from us now. Oh, what a great morning. What a wonderful morning. Wow, we haven't seen dolphins during our walk for a while. What a treat that was, what a treat. Talk about for some reason, I said, oh, to myself, I'm going to start in Area 2 this morning. And I am glad I did. I'm so glad I did. We're up in Area 4 now. Up at Roy's Beach. I'm keeping an eye out there in the water. Probably about 71 degrees, 72 degrees out here now. Pretty darn warm. Expecting a high today of 82, some rain later in the day. Rain tomorrow, tomorrow morning probably. Those dolphins are way out there. I don't know if you could see it just come up right there. Uh, 
know if they're gonna come any closer to us, but they're gonna stay offshore now. But we have followed them all the way up the beach. Two dolphins, very, moving very slow up the beach. See them come up over there? We can get one last look at them. Try to zoom in a little bit. We can get another peek at them. Nope, he's way over to the right there. They're getting further and further away now. That. That was a blast. What a great, great morning. Got off to a really good start this morning. Did we come up again? Yep. Very far away though. Very, very far away. Out towards that white marker out there. I don't think you're gonna see them. Heading up towards Wiggins Pass. Wow. What a beautiful morning. What a great, what a great experience. What did I miss along the beach this morning? My goodness. What did I miss? How many shells did I run past? I almost stepped on a couple big jellyfish following them. Just amazing. Are there going to be any more coming by? You never know about these dolphins. You never know where or when they're going to come by. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Hit that share button if you enjoy these beach walks. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. If you want to send a little contribution, a little donation or it's always appreciated those little tips that come in once in a while they they just give me one more reason to keep doing this I love doing it I love coming out here to the beach but it's just like a confirmation that I'm appreciated and believe me every little bit helps if you want to send something you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I appreciate you following. If you're new to these beach walks, make sure you introduce yourself to the group. Let everyone know where you're watching from. You can always find a replay of these videos, all of my beach walks on YouTube and Facebook. Usually the quality on YouTube is a little bit better than the Facebook replay. But it's been, a, man, a great morning so far. I'm gonna make my way up the beach here in a minute. I'm gonna turn around and head up and find Roy. We'll talk about the next chapter in his book which is titled Heaven or Hell. It'll be interesting. See what he has to say about heaven and hell. Good morning. Oh. Not many shells here. They're all starting to wash away on us. Yesterday we found some nice stuff in these piles. Now they're all starting to get thinned out and picked through. Boy, I worked up a little sweat chasing that dolphin. 
those dolphins. The water is beautiful out here this morning. No red tide. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun just coming up. Beautiful. Beautiful emerald green color of the Gulf of Mexico. Let's see our friends Mike and Mary Ann coming down, coming up the beach looking for fossils and anything else they can find. A lot of shells down here on the ridge line. See all these shells down here? That's where, that's where Bill's always looking for shark's teeth. All along this ridge line here. How do you find a shark's teeth? All those black shells and rocks down there. How do you find a shark's teeth amongst all that stuff? So hard, but yet they find lots of them. They find all kinds of interesting things. Bill can spot the shark's tooth a mile away. All kinds of neat stuff though. When you sift through this. Look at that. Look at that. A little. Wow. Look at that. That is... I swear that's a little baby murex. A little teeny tiny baby murex shell. I have never seen one that tiny. Wow. Just sifting through this stuff. That is incredible. Look how little that is. That's the smallest murex I've ever found. That is amazing. It's actually quite a drop off here. You gotta be careful where I put that little shell. I don't wanna lose that. We're gonna walk up and find Roy. See where old Roy is at here. See our ospreys are up here in the tree. Our little osprey family this morning. See how they're doing. I see one sticking out. I see both of them up there. The nest is right up here above my finger. I see both ospreys in there. I might try to zoom in from here because the closer you get, the harder to see them inside the nest. But there's the both of them. You can see the one on the right, the one on the left. The one on the right, I'm guessing, is the female. She's kind of hunkered down in the nest. Hoping to see some little baby ospreys in the spring here. Cool. Dolphins and ospreys so far this morning. What a great morning. Loving it. How you doing? Hey, Rob, how are you? Good. Oh, well, here I am. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis. We got number one fan. Well, you mind being on our video? 
You watch them. If you watch them, you got to be on them. There you go. That's fam from St. Louis. Awesome. All right. I came down here to hang out with you and Roy. Awesome. Roy, I'm making my way up the beach to find Roy. This is going to be either the end of my journey or the beginning of my journey. There you go. I hope it's the beginning. I think it will be. Great. This place is so beautiful. It is. Did you get to see the dolphins? I sure did. Wasn't that an experience? There. It was beautiful. They came all the way up the beach. I followed them all the way he up did? there. Yeah, it yeah, was well, crazy. Waiting to see old Roy. Well, he's up there. I'm just slowly making my way up. I'll tell I'm you gonna... what, if you... I'll hang out and I'll follow you. All right. All right, I'm all in right. a hurry. Okay, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm in the best place. You got it. That is so cool. I get to meet so many nice people out here that have seen me on Facebook. It's such a small world. We got a little seagull here checking us out. Uh-oh, he doesn't know what way to go. <laughs> Man, look at all these little sandpipers running around in front of me. Can you see them? All these little dots moving around on the beach. Now they're moving up onto the beach. <clears throat> see if they make their way. But nope, they're coming up on the beach. I don't know why. They must have had their fill down by the water, of the water. <laughs> you see them? They're hard to see. Little, little specks running around out there. They're such tiny little birds. There's Roy's throne chair. <laughs> I haven't seen him sit in it again since Barb was here. I think once was enough for him. We're gonna catch up with him in a minute here. He's just up at the pass somewhere. There you go. He is Probably, I don't know. I Usually he's starting on his way back around this time, but I do not see him. And since I started in area two, I didn't even get to see if his car was here. But he usually never misses a morning at the beach. Oh, falling and dolphins poop me out. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I was actually kind of running along beside them this morning. It's amazing what this stabilizer lets me do. There's some more little sandpipers. Just running in and out of the waves. Fun watching them. They're so small. out of those waves they're fun to try and photograph get close-ups of what a gorgeous morning partly cloudy expecting a high of 82 today here 82 degrees. Can you believe it? I don't know what the temperature is where you're at, but I bet you it's not going to be 82 degrees today. There's a few shells spread out on the beach. One of those old piles. It's just kind of getting pushed around by the tides as they come in and out. A whole bunch of 
Anything but clam shells, a few little, a few little scallops, some broken cockle shells, maybe a little turkey wing shell down there. A little turkey wing. Very obvious why that's called a turkey wing. I, well, I hope it's obvious. Little jewel box, jewel box shell here. Half of a jewel box. Oh, nice little slipper shell over here. Nice little slipper. Here's how you can figure out, hope you understand why that's called a slipper shell. Looks just like a little slipper. Anything else? Anything else scattered along here? Look really close. Little, that's an old. There's a worn murex there. It's smooth. It's worn almost smooth. Look at that. Little app, maybe an apple murex. Little kitten's paw down here. Oh, there's a pretty little scallop shell. A barnacle on it. Look at that. That's cool. Couple little kitten paw shells, kitten's paws. Those are neat. Lots of little things when you stop and look. What else do we got down here? What do we have down here? Shells are still wet. Still wet. Hmm. No big whelks or anything. Pieces of whelks, definitely broken whelks. Pieces of whelk shells. A lot, a lot of clam shells. There's a nice jewel box there. Let's keep walking up the beach, give you a look around here. Any more dolphins out there? Wouldn't that be fun to see some more dolphins? If you're just tuning in, we had a great dolphin sighting this morning. We just followed two dolphins up the beach. That was fun. Right, almost right at the get-go of my beach walk. As soon as I got to the end of the boardwalk, I saw them in Area 2. I'm so glad I started down there in Area 2. I was just at the right place at the right time this morning. That's Mike and Mary Ann making their way up the beach. One takes the high road, one takes the low road. I did not check the tide charts. I don't know if the tide's on its way in right now or on its way out. Guessing it's on its way out. You hear those ospreys calling out. Hey, wasn't that funny yesterday? The ospreys 
Roy was playing his harmonica under the tree there and the Ospreys were just singing along. That was so, so neat. Roy's loving that harmonica. I'm so happy that he broke down and picked, a, picked one of the harmonicas, the other harmonicas that he has. He picked a nice big one. It's got great tone. He's, he's thrilled with it too. It's like a kid with a new toy. And that was from our friend, Betty. Thank you so much, Betty, for all those harmonicas that you gave to Roy. Hopefully he'll play some more of them here. Okay, there's one bench Roy likes to sit on. He's not there. So we'll go up with, oops, just, uh, two neat things. Here's a little, a little tiny baby banded tulip shell. That's a beauty. A little baby banded tulip. A little chip on the edge. It's a keeper though. Pretty little banded tulip. And over here, a little piece of finger coral. A little piece of finger coral. I haven't seen any moon shells yet. seen any moons another there's a piece of a tulip another banded tulip a broken one nice colors on that there's a moon broken one Darn it little baby broken baby moon shell You might find something right in this area here. Now look close though, they're small, that's for sure. Beautiful little scallops, beautiful little scallops here. That's a cockle, a little cockle. That's a little whelk. Kind of smooshed down into the sand. A little lightning well. I see Roy up ahead of us. He's just ahead of us up the beach here. Making his way down. Our friend from St. Louis is excited about meeting him. Making his way up there in the blue shirt. shells crunching man I know there's some nice stuff buried under there well I gotta get up here to see the meeting <laughs> to see the guys meeting up here on the beach get so torn when I'm shelling though between shelling and doing something else. Little snowy egret over there. Having a good time conversing there. I will. 
Little eavesdrop here. Hey Rob, how you doing? One of your Facebook friends here. This gentleman came all the way from St. Louis. Isn't that just something? To, just to see us. How about it's that? It's amazing. I don't know why. <laughs> got his harmonica. We're gonna play together. You got a harmonica with well, you? Well, he's gonna teach me how to do it. Oh <laughs> boy, that'll be interesting. I'm gonna take lessons from you. That this will be interesting. <laughs> well, it's simple. You draw in and you blow out. <laughs> there you go. You make it look easy. I know that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Let me get a picture of you two guys together. Hey, did I have a dolphin? <laughs> you can no. Nope, you can never stop smiling. I never my, stop my, smiling. I got a niece. Her kids. That's how they are. Yeah. They're so used to video on you. Know? Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. So you saw three up there, huh? Oh, were they plunging around? Well, I followed two all the way up the beach this oh, morning. Were there two out here? Yep, we followed yeah. them all the way up. How about that? Great. I mean, they were just kind of meandering back and forth. Yeah, these were really plunging around. Man, I would have liked right to have seen that. Up there. So it was a good dolphin morning this morning. Yeah, it sure was. I love it. And a nice sunrise too. Real pretty. Yep. Yeah, nice Not colors. Much color, but that was pretty. Oh yeah, there was nice colors. You didn't see the colors this morning? Well, I kept watching and watching. It I... was beautiful. You must be, they must be hidden behind the trees or something. No, the whole I... sky lit up there for a little well, while. It was this lit morning. up, but not a lot of Orange color. Orange and pink. <laughs> yeah. A little, little uh, purple, yeah. So, I want to walk up here a little further, look for some shells. I want to meet you guys back at your bench there. Pizza, or back... pizza day, you coming to pizza today? Pizza day, I don't think so. I don't know. Depends what's for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I love pizza. You like pizza? I love it. Be a group of us that uh, we always meet Tuesdays at five o'clock. Do you where? The owners. Okay. Right, right up here in Naples Park. I went well, to the right on ninety fifth. Post looking for you last night, but I went in the wrong one. Oh. Uh, that's 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 the one, but he doesn't. Roy well, Ray doesn't hang out the there. The new Leonis, this is. Uh, which uh, tonight? Which Leonis are you going to tonight? They're going up to the new one, I guess. It's, Where's that? I don't know. It's a little north here. I don't know why we're going there, but that's huh. where they want to go. So, yeah, you can Google it. If you want to come, come to my place at five, four to five. I'll be there picking us up, and uh, and um, we'll head up to Leonis. There. Sounds great. There you go, folks. <laughs> the bus is leaving from Roy's. Anybody wants to go have pizza with Roy? <laughs> I'm going to walk up there a little further. I'll meet you guys down there. I want to hear the harmonica, how the dueling harmonicas. Yeah, and that should be good. And we got to talk about the next chapter. Oh, yeah. Heaven or Hell. That's right, it was. Yeah. Heaven or Hell is the next chapter in yeah, the book. Yeah, that's our choice. Woo, what a responsibility. Well, we're definitely in heaven right now. Yeah, you are kidding. <laughs> and Anytime we we're stay, out here, we it's We want to stay there. Yeah, that's, the whole, <laughs> that's the whole trick is staying there. That's the whole Once trick is right. There, stay there. There you go, fighting conch that's shell. That That's a fighting conch, a little fighting conch shell. That easy. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all in a little there bit. Okay. Oh, I didn't get, what was your name? I'm, David. 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 Okay. David. Yeah, okay. from St. Louis. David from St. Yeah. Louis, perfect. David from St. Louis. Yep. There's an unusual sight over here. Bar. Here's an unusual sight. No hat. No hat. I'm like, I forgot it. Who is Mary Ann with? Some stranger. That's right. <laughs> Careless stranger. Oh. Did you see? Did you see the dolphins? Or no, I missed that. There was a couple we followed right up the beach all morning. So all the big jellies, though. A big what? The jellies about. The oh yeah, I saw. I almost stepped on them. Following the dolphins up. Yeah, they were big. I don't know why we're getting jellyfish now. I know. Yeah, all, the, all of a sudden now we get jellyfish. Big ones. I don't think that has anything to do with red tide. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I think they got caught in the uh, <laughs> Jellyfish, peanut butter and jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> breakfast Michael of champions. Michael found out the name of that shell. It's a top hat. It's a top hat. It was a top, they said top shell is what everybody said on. J-U-J-U-B-E. A juju, juju, juju bee. Bee. a juju bee, a juju bee. Top shell, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, they said um, he has it with him if you want to put it on. Again. Yeah, let's show everybody that top. They said it's primarily farther north. Up in okay, I, yeah, but with the currents here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A top. A, J -U -J, what is it? J 
J U J U B E. Jujube. Jujube. Top, top shell. Yeah. Jujube. I don't know. <laughs> but there it is. It's a top shell. I'm going to start looking more closely. That's the first I one we've seen in four years you know, we've been here. I would have said that was a broken tulip shell. I really yeah. would have. The top yeah. of a broken tulip. What would you find? I shark's tooth? My scoop. Is that a shark's tooth? Yep, stick it out. Really? Yeah, it's a scoop. That's a shark's tooth? Yeah. That's yep. a shark's tooth. Yeah, it is. It's a scoop. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Lucky yep. you. Yep, yep. And here's your top hat. <laughs> here's my bottom. Too. These people are stealing all oh, my treasures. He should have gone to a dentist. And what's he that. got a chip, a cavity? No, no, he's crooked. He needed dental work. Oh, yeah. Work. <laughs> See, that's he the actual some orthodontist part that work. sticks out. Right yeah, right there. there. There's, the, there's yep. the bony part. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Poor guy needed a yep. dentist. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, folks. There's proof. Yep. She really finds him. Yep. She's not like Bill just dropping him out of his pocket out here. <laughs> <laughs> or going to the flea market and buying them oh, no, the no, big no, plastic no. ones I, I I <laughs> there you go <laughs> now let's see if we find anything else here before I turn around absolutely beautiful this morning a little overcast not a big deal looking forward to Having some nice, a nice little conversation with Roy and our friend David, who had just joined us from St. Louis here on the beach. That is so neat when we meet our Facebook friends in person. He's brought his harmonica down. He's gonna, he's hoping Roy can teach him a song or two on the harmonica. That'll be fun to hear, fun to watch and listen to. supposed to rain later today it's gonna be spotty showers and then in the morning hopefully I won't get rained out tomorrow but if you enjoy these morning walks boy here's another darn it here's another jellyfish these have been all over the beach these big jellyfish lately I'll give you an idea how big it is look at that look how big that thing is they're huge. Its tentacles are underneath it. There's its underneath. These things are humongous, man. And I've seen quite a few of them this morning. Almost stepped on them several times, chasing the dolphins. Boy, I don't know why they're washing ashore lately. These are all the trees that got toppled over by Hurricane Irma back in September of 2017. This beach has changed immensely up here at the north end of the park. I mean, there's really no beach left. This beach used to go way out to here. This used to be a canopy of trees overhanging the water that you could walk under. Not anymore. Unfortunately. I don't know how she saw that shark's tooth with these little waves out here. That's amazing. Peaceful out here this morning. A 
actually hit the share button to enjoy these walks. If you want to see some other things to do in Naples, I suggest you like Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Nonstop Naples, give them a like and a follow. Every once in a while, you'll find me on Nonstop Naples Facebook page doing a live feed from somewhere else here in town. I do most of my morning beach walks at Wiggins on Southwest Florida television here. This is a pretty regular thing. I don't do it every morning, but I do it as often as I can. And I enjoy having you all tag along with me. There's a pelican You're flying across the screen there. Very, very flat again today. It was flat yesterday, calm yesterday. But the sun is not out shining bright this morning, darn it. Just hiding behind these high, thin, little wispy white clouds up there. It's right behind the trees here. You can see it trying to break through there. Just not gonna happen. It doesn't matter though, it is beautiful. I will take this over snow any day of the year. Lots of little shell trees popping up on the beach. Lots of little shell trees. Several reasons why people hang their shells here. Some hang just as a decoration, a little memento of their trip and take a picture of it. I've seen where they actually, if they had a marker or something, they write their name and date and hang it on the tree and take a photo of it. Other people, they hang a shell and they'll say a prayer, they'll make a wish. But really the the main reason people hang these shells is they hang them in memory of a loved one that's passed away. That is the main reason. So remember that when you see the shells hanging on the tree. They do mean something to somebody. And please feel free to hang a shell. The more the merrier for whatever reason. You'll see trees like this all around Southwest Florida's beaches. Oh, I'm slowly walking south now back down the beach, making my way towards Roy. Keeping an eye open or something, anything interesting. Any interesting little shells along the way here. There's definitely lots of shells piled up on the beach.
couple little worm shells over here. These are the tips of the worm shells. These are the tips that break off the worm shells. They can get pretty long, the worm shells. But they're really fragile, so you'll usually find the tips broken off of the actual shell. I found some nice ones out here, though. a little sun peeking out peeking out give me a little photo op a quick one sorry about that that was just me taking a photo while there was a little sun out here oh now it's even getting brighter getting nicer beautiful hang on don't go anywhere just love this view looking up the beach morning you know, it looks like Roy got sidetracked up here with talking to Bill the water is absolutely gorgeous Absolutely good. You can see how <clears throat> all these shells down here, all these shells were up here in a ridge. And as the tide comes up, comes in and out, it starts spreading them out along the beach. And that's when you start finding neat things, you know, that just uncovers them, kind of sifts through them naturally for you. Mother Nature takes care of the sifting. That's an old, that's a fighting conch down there, that big shell. The Florida fighting conch shell. Very, very popular, very common shell. Popular souvenir. Everybody that comes to Florida usually takes one of these home to Southwest Florida. Just make sure there's nothing crawling around inside of it. Don't take any live shells. The Florida fighting pump. Anything down here. There's a nice little scallop. A little scallop shell there. Nice colors. We find lots of these slipper shells. Slipper shells are pretty abundant here on the beach, the slippers. The little slippers. All right, anything else? Here comes Bill. There's a little snowy egret over here. See the little white plume behind its head there. A little snowy egret. Looking for a fish, just waiting for a fish to some swim by. Hey Bill. 
How are you doing this morning? I'm uh, wandering around. Find anything good yet? Not this morning. Four small ones yesterday afternoon. Mary, Mary Ann just found a pretty nice one. Yeah. There it comes. It's amazing. They're out right there. Right there on the edge she found it. That's where they're there. <laughs> yep. Have a good one. You too. Ooh, nice. Boy, great. That was a great picture I just got there. Bill walking up and the little snowy egret out there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I can hear those ospreys from all the way over here. You can hear them calling out, chirping out. Can you hear them? We'll go take another get another look at those ospreys when we go see Roy. He's got a we've got a friend here that showed up on the beach, came down from St. Louis. To meet Roy and I, that is so neat. He's got a harmonica with him. He's hoping Roy can teach him how to play a song. That'll be interesting. Hi. Good morning, how are you? Happy, happy Tuesday, everyone. If you're just joining for the first time, don't forget, introduce yourself to the group here. Don't be shy. Jump in the comments. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's been some great friendships made here during these beach walks. to get his chair and come back out to the beach here. He's up under the trees. Yep, our ospreys are still up here. That's the nest right up there. You can kind of see the silhouette of one of the ospreys. You can see its silhouette up there. The other one's down in the nest. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. I don't know where Roy went. 
Must be at his car getting his beach paraphernalia. That's Audrey's bench there, you can see, right up there. The bench he had placed in memory of his late wife. You can also see some of the picnic tables. There's these picnic tables and grills are scattered all throughout the park here. Great place, great place to come and spend an afternoon, spend a day. You can start out with breakfast on the beach and finish with dinner. <laughs> Plenty of tables and grills, plenty of them. They're just behind the trees here. There's a pathway that goes pretty much the entire length of the beach. There's a roof, gonna get a good look at the Osprey if the sun stays out here. A real good look here, beautiful blue sky behind it. The best I can do with the iPhone. Nice colors. The other one's in the nest. I believe the other one's down inside the nest, the female. Pretty sure that's the male sitting there. There's a good look at our Osprey, one of our Osprey buddies. Oh. This is the biggest beach here. The biggest part of the beach, area four. The widest stretch of beach right here at Del Norwegians. Just waiting for Roy here. We'll be chatting with him shortly here. Probably hearing a few more tunes from his harmonica. There's a big family. I guess Roy got lost. I don't know what he's doing. We should sit here on the bench and do the harmonica thing here. Here they come. Audrey's bench. Are you getting that poem? Yes, sir. Time of love, a time of prayer. Yep. Time to tell we really care. Time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring. A time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day. 
a time for comradeship and friends. A time, a time that never ends. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And that was for your wedding day. Yeah. Here, why don't we, you're the only, why don't we sit here on the bench for a little bit and okay. do the harmonica thing. Okay, this is going to be little, interesting. A little wet. <laughs> How about I sit on my own bench? Well, then nobody else has a seat around you unless we sit over here. Yeah, that's a good, that is, that's dry there. Here we are. Yeah. We can sit there. Sit at the picnic table. That'll be a good one. Here, I'll get my harmonica out. Get your harmonica. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I going to bring some life to the beach. Yep. A little live music out here. <laughs> a hoedown. We're going to have a hoedown. <laughs> a hoedown. Yeah. With a honer. A, a honer hoedown. hoedown. A honer hoedown. <laughs> what kind of harmonica do you, do you have a honer, Dave? No, 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 no. no. I don't play. Oh. I just came to learn. You just came. He's well? going to teach me how to play. Oh, okay. I got the book. Uh, teaching is simple. You draw in and you blow out. There you go. <laughs> and you do the. You use your tongue to kind of make chords like. That's the hard part. <laughs> no, not really. It's all pretty automatic. It's automatic. In, I stopped in Mississippi, the home of the blues, and bought a harmonica. Well, there you I go. Guess it's you, in my car right yeah, now. Oh. <laughs> you can play the blues on them. I guess. Oh yeah. Some people do. I well, know. that's what our yeah. our ranger friend does, Bill. Yeah. And he's, yeah, he's good at that. Yeah. He is really good at the blues. Yeah. Let's have a seat and. Right, oh. Oh. See how the old. Well, I don't know if here's the old a chromatic works. or not. This is a chromatic, but I never use that. That way you can play half notes when you push in this uh, thing on the end here, which is now sticking in, but anyway. Dave, <laughs> just suck and blow. Brighten up any morning. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was a that Where's was different. Your harmonica, you got it with you? No, it's in my car. Oh, in your car yeah. it isn't here. Right? No, it's across the bridge. Oh, oh my goodness! Too early. Oh, uh, <laughs> otherwise we could play it. Oh well, yeah, we I was so hoping the little it. ones. Huh? Yeah, just the little one. Oh, they work too. Yeah, they, they do. They sound great. Yeah, they're good. 
I've been to a lot of concerts in my life, and this is the best live show I've ever seen right here. <laughs> oh, amen. <laughs> How about that, Roy? <laughs> it doesn't See, get you know, I don't know if yours is a crow, but it's probably if a real little one isn't chromatic. Probably not a real, good, a real good guy can... See, there's an end here. This is pushed in and stick it in now, but it, it goes in and out and and it shows a half notes then. Really? Otherwise, this is just the regular scale, no half notes. But with a chromatic, you push this and you get the half notes. Huh. I never, I never was, I never could do that. Never was good at it. Well, good you're pretty though. darn good at it, if you ask me. Well, oh, you're not good. Well, not the chromatic end of it. That's the way people play. Yeah. Half notes, you know. Well. Because a lot of songs they got half notes. You do a good job. Even like without. Old Man River, that one part, I can't play that. I can play Old Man River, but then you get that other section of You and me, we sweat and strain, body all aching and wreck with pain. That's kind of half right. notes in there. Doesn't fit on that. Well, why don't you play it anyway for us? start. You can't yeah. play without half notes. We'll sing it for us. <laughs> you and me, we sweat and strain. Body all aching and wreck with pain. Heave that barge, tote that bale. You get a little drunk and you land in jail. <laughs> I guess weary and sick of trying. I'm tired of living and scared of dying, but old man river, he just keeps rolling along. There you go. That's just, just as like, good as the harmonica. Just like time. <laughs> yep. Oh, man, hey, that is great. Along. Time. You got that right. Man. Time and the river moving along. I'm going to come around to the other side of you guys here. Oh, so... Time to have our little conversation. Did you see the dolphins this morning? Yeah, we you did. You said you had dolphins. We had on two. The way up. Yeah, we had two that I followed up the beach, and two. you said you had three. Three. They were really plunging out of the water in the pass there. Was it a Going baby? Right back and forth across the pass. Wow. Did they have a baby with them, or was it no? Three no, adults? they were big guys. Wow. <laughs> These weren't plunging. These were just taking their sweet time swimming along the yeah, beach. Yeah, must be a lot of. Give me a workout okay. though. I saw them as soon as I got as soon as I got to the beach. There they were. As soon huh. as I stepped foot on the beach, they showed up. How about that? Yeah, it was perfect timing. That's something. Yep. So heaven or hell? Heaven where are we or at? hell? Yeah, our choice. What is this? Chapter sixteen, I think, in the book. Heaven or hell? Fifteen. 16. Yeah, it is, uh, we got a free choice, and it's a tremendous responsibility because it's up to us whether we want to be in heaven or or hell. You know, and then. And uh, it's much more delightful in heaven, that's for sure. I but, would think so. But some people uh, seem to like being in hell, I guess. And uh, think of all the bad things and evil things. And, and instead of thinking about beautiful, blessed, uh, glorious, worthwhile things. So we have a free choice. And like I say, it's an unbelievable responsibility to stay in heaven. And here's another interesting thing. Mm -hmm. You can be in heaven and everything going great. And all of a sudden, some little thing comes and kaplop. You fall out and you go right down to hell and start swearing and cursing. And, and uh, you know, very uh, unhappy about everything. So once you're in heaven, which we all like to be in, let us stay there. That's the <laughs> trick. Because you aren't there just automatically. It takes an effort to stay there. And it's easy to fall out of heaven. So, uh, and if you do right. fall out, get right back in. Don't wait around. So that's the whole... So how do you get back in? Well, you, you pray and you, you uh, conduct yourself properly and you enjoy 
you enjoy uh, your surroundings and your life, you appreciate life and enjoy life, that's, that's heaven. So um, it's, it's a wonderful, glorious place to be and we're all in at this very moment. But like I say, it's easy to fall yep. out. We're in heaven. Yep. Yeah. You got so, that right, brother. So go go in and stay in. That's the word. <laughs> go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go to heaven. <laughs> heaven happens. Yep, heaven happens. It does. Heaven happens. That's a good one. Well, that's good advice for everybody, no matter who you are. <laughs> and it never hurts to believe, right? You don't have anything to lose. Right, believe. Right. <laughs> And believe, it's nice believe. to feel uh, a God's presence in heaven. Yeah. That's the whole thing about it. That's where he spends his time. And, and the devil, he's down in hell. We don't want to <laughs> truck with him. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we don't want to muck around with the devil. Yeah. Although sometimes we get up mighty close. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. He's always lurking there, ready to gra grasp us. Yep. And we have to be cautious about that. Just He's human nature. Not. We're weak. Yeah. We are very weak. And if he sees a chance, oh boy, he, with his claws and talons, he'll grab us and pull us down to the depths, the Isn't inferno. That the truth? Isn't that the truth? And burn up our soul. We don't want that. No, sir. <laughs> so keep away from that guy. And if he does get his claws into you, have the strength to push him off. There you go. Get Amen rid of him. That. Amen. Amen. What do you think, Dave? I agree? agree totally. A totally. Absolutely, 100 percent. Make some good positive choices. Yeah. Totally. Positive thinking. Yeah. And prayer. Prayer. Positive the thinking and prayer. prayer is what keeps you in, in heaven. Absolutely. That open line of communication that we have yeah. with the great creator. And and it costs nothing. It's a free phone call. Yeah, and thank, <laughs> thankfulness. You got a direct line. Yep. Never busy. Yep. He is never busy. <laughs> he'll always, he'll always answer your prayer. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah, that is amazing. All the millions and millions of people on this earth. Yeah. He always has time to listen to your prayer. Yeah. Think about that. Well, you know, <laughs> I've mused about that. I think we talked about that. That that, uh, that it's nice to feel that God's aware of of me well, he but is. Uh, I'm only one one small dot of his unbelievable multitude of creations of course. so if he's aware of me he must be aware of everything he's created he is and it isn't just reserved to mammals it'd be nice if every, you know, every, hi there everything. how you doing everything. come join us <laughs> Be nice if he would. You figure he's aware of elephants and giraffes and all he those is. big things. Everything, but, everything. But how about the little things like ants? You everything. know, if he's aware of the elephants, he also is aware of all the ants. Absolutely. And then how about all the bugs and mosquitoes and no seams like we had this morning? <laughs> yeah, no seams. Yeah. No. So that's why when I get to heaven, uh, if I ever get there, I want to chat with him and ask him, "Look, God, if you love us so much, why did you make?" bacteria to pull us down there you go why don't you wipe out the bacteria if you got such big strength and the noceums yeah <laughs> yeah why do you create the bacteria well those are challenges those yeah. are all tests so i want to those chat with him tests. about that and you gotta make the get a straight yep. answer mm -hmm. yeah, i think yeah. you'll give me a straight answer don't you I don't know. Is he I an, want to be there. Is he, an, be there is he an attorney? <laughs> Does he talk in platitudes? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he speaks in whatever language you speak. <laughs> oh, somebody wants to say hi to you here. Hi, Roy. Hi, honey. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, do I get my hugger? Yes, you certainly do. Oh, oh look at Roy. I know you like to stand, stand up. up and get a good hug. Watch your up. leg here. Up we go. Up. Up. Oh, had a girl. Hey, you're a strong lady. She is. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Roy, you oh, are boy. a lucky guy. Oh, how lucky can I get? <laughs> now, you know Robin. I know, oh, yeah. I know well, Robin. This, this is David from Hi, St. David. Louis. Hello. Hi, David. Hello. I'm, nice I'm to meet Kristen. you. I just, my walk wouldn't be complete without coming and getting my morning. Well, it sure, it sure Roy, makes so. my morning. So, you're looking good? You're feeling good? Now, where are you from again, Kristen? Well, I live here. Yeah, you moved down here permanently, um, didn't you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I'm from Michigan originally. That's right. We talked yes. about that. Yes. A lot of people Michigan. from Michigan I went there. To yeah. School Ann Arbor. I went to Michigan State, so. How about that? Yeah. yeah. You know, when I was at Ann Arbor, Michigan State, 
we called it a cow college. Yes, it was an agriculture. It was an agricultural right. school. But Way now, back then. Now they develop. Now it's a big, big university. It, that's correct. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. We called it a cow college. Yes, <laughs> it was Michigan Agricultural yeah. School or something yeah. like that. So. Well, it was kind well, of. Well, I won't keep you. So I just wanted to say hello and see how you're doing. And you look like you're moving pretty good this morning. It's really wonderful. Enjoying this beautiful morning. Yeah, isn't it the... glorious? Yes, it is. Yeah, we had dolphin show at the end, too. Oh, boy. Can't beat all <laughs> nice. that. Nice. All right. Well, one more hug. Oh, oh, lucky I'll right. see you next time. <laughs> okay? Bless you. All right. Bless all you. right. Oh. Take care, Thanks, guys. Kristen. Looking beautiful. <laughs> we'll see you. See you. Look at that smile. <laughs> Boy, look at that girl. Isn't she something? <laughs> and to get a big hug from her, what a... Two hugs. What a blessing. You got two yeah. hugs. What a blessing. Comes all the way up here just to say hi. Now she, she's a nutritionist. Is she the one that yeah. I... Yeah. Yeah. She's the told, one that told me to told eat the boar's head. Start eating some, getting some protein. Yeah. And, yep, boar's head. Yep. All these people out here that care about you, Roy. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> <clears throat> worried about me. I don't know why. They're not worried about I'm you. They worried. care about you. <laughs> Big difference between worry and care. They do worry about you. I guess so. They're yes. worried about you there when you weren't at the beach. When yeah, we lost I, you there I sure for a while. <laughs> sure missed it. But you're back. That's the important part. <laughs> Here you are. Well, that's another thing I want to chat with God about. Why do you make a red tide? <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think that's nature's way of controlling the fish population. Yeah, but it also controls the human population. Well, if you swim, that has to be controlled too. <laughs> <laughs> everything, every population has to be put in check once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> every everything but you and me. We're the only ones. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's that'll be. We the got day. free reign. Free reign. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing's free. <laughs> Free reign of the planet. Well, oh, it's it. a glorious planet, isn't it, by George? It is. That's what you're Look saying. Look at that blue, blue sea. Man, oh, man. Couldn't be any. Well, every day it's paradise. I don't care if there's clouds, rain. I'll definitely take this over the snow. Yeah. <laughs> I like snow. Snow is beautiful. Well, I like it if I'm by a fireplace and looking out the window at it. <laughs> That's about the only way I like snow. Yeah. I don't want to be shoveling it, driving yeah, in it. Yeah, fireplace. Boy, we had a fireplace in our home. That's a delight. You throw a bunch of wood yeah. on there and sit up You don't close. get to, if you have a fireplace here, you don't get to use it very often. No, I don't A couple times suppose. a year, <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky. Fireplace. Kind of dangerous detail, though. Yeah. You go to bed at night, you kind of worry about it. Put the screen in front and hope nothing pops out. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a nice little chat. How about another song on the old honer here before I ski daddle? <laughs> as well do you are my sunshine oh we didn't that's, do that yet that's gonna be your theme song Love it. Love it, love it. That thing sounds great. I mean, that has That's some really, one, really nice tone yeah. to it. I mean, a really nice tone. Yeah. That is... 
it's got it's got a, a fuller sound. Yeah, you know, oh, it's, it's a rich, richer yeah. richer sound than that. Yeah, it's the other a really one. good one. Let me get my morning shot of you. <laughs> now you gotta let me get your picture. <laughs> I need a picture of you smiling. <laughs> you're awful because. I have to take a few pictures because I want to make sure you're not blinking when I take the picture. <laughs> that's great. Audrey's bench behind us there. Hey, that's nice. Yep, that's beautiful. Listen to those ospreys chirping away. I think, I think they like that harmonica music. How they're joining in. They are. Listen to them singing up there. I don't quite see it where I were. They're right. Yeah, it's hard to see. They're behind this branch. Yeah, I think so. There are, there's two of them, I think, up in the nest. I think we're going to have little babies this year. That'll be fun. Anything else you want to say to everybody? No, not, not in particular, except that uh, everybody just enjoy the journey. That's it. That's where it's at. You can't say that enough, you know? Enjoy yeah. the journey. No matter what you're doing, whether you're working or playing, Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the journey. Truth? Just like those birds up there. <laughs> and, and see all the beautiful, wonderful things, not the negative things. See all the beauty. Look for the beauty. Look for the beauty in people. It's there. Absolutely. Look yeah. for the beauty in everything. Everywhere you go, look for the positive. That's right. That's a good point. All right, Daddy O. It's good seeing you. Nice seeing you, Rob. Always. When I come out to the beach tomorrow morning, I'm going to expect Dave here to be playing his harmonica like yeah, a champ. Yeah, you got to bring your like harmonica, Dave. We're going to try. We're going to do it. Are we going to see you out here tomorrow morning? You better believe All it. All right, bring that harmonica. Here. Bring that okay. harmonica. You can't come down to St. Louis and not join in. And we don't care what it sounds like. That's fine. It's called a joyful noise. I don't know what the Ospreys will do, but <laughs> I'll, I'll blow in and out on it. Oh, <laughs> I think the Ospreys will enjoy it. <laughs> Roy, when Roy would get to singing last year, gosh, the dolphins would show up. Holy <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> when he would start singing, all of a sudden the dolphins would appear. Yeah, they, they like they like music, I think. I think they do. Yeah, they can hear things. Oh, they can. Yeah. Nope, they're fun to watch. All right, guys, I will see you later. Take gotta, care, Rob. I came in in Area 2 down there. You came in in area one, all the way up at the <laughs> beginning there. You got a, a long walk. I got a little walk back. Yeah, but it's nice meeting you. I'll see you tomorrow, Dave. All right. Dave is from St. Louis, one of our Facebook friends. That's right. He found uh, us. I made it. I'm here. <laughs> yep. Uh, God bless. It is so fun when somebody, when our friends come I can do it. Anybody can do it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. See Can't wife. wait to hear the harmonica. But the dueling harmonicas. <laughs> uh, tally ho! Wow. Look at the man, the sun came out now, the sky is clearing up. Just absolutely gorgeous out here. Man, oh man, it has gotten beautiful. Well, it's always beautiful, don't get me wrong. <laughs> But our osprey friends are right. Our osprey friends are right up there, sitting up there in that. Look at that beautiful blue sky up there behind the osprey. Isn't that beautiful? Look how blue that sky is. Wow. Gorgeous. We gotta get trucking down the beach. Get closer to the water here. For my little jaunt down to area two, we're up in area four. The water is gorgeous, no red tide. We started our walk this morning. As soon as I stepped foot on the beach, there was two dolphins waiting for me. Followed them up the beach this morning. That was great. Yeah. 
absolutely gorgeous out here. Great little conversation with Roy this morning. Wonderful harmonica concert. What more could we ask for? Life is good. Life is good, that's for sure. God is good. We are so blessed down here. Be able to come out and enjoy this beautiful weather. Live just minutes from this beautiful beach. What more could you ask for? Ah, the good stuff. I didn't get a lot today. How are you doing? Good. Good I morning. Really didn't, like, no, this is a, for my kids. They like the pieces and oh, parts. That, but those are very cool. Yeah, and I do a photography at the end. I put all the curls. Oh, I stack nice. Them, so nice. It's fun. Nice. Well, that's know, the, the only they call thing. them twisties. Yeah, I call them curly. See? <laughs> I got, is that a slipper shell that's like old? Look at it. Yeah, that's an old I've never seen, I love the color, so it's I picked it silver. up. turned silver. Yeah. <laughs> that is neat. I said, oh, I wonder what that is. So it I said, definitely oh, if I saw like you. definitely looks like a slipper, yeah. Yeah, without the piece, yeah, I don't know. Very cool. Yeah, that's all. It's like silver. Yeah. Sil silver. Your lucky day, a silver shell. <laughs> yeah. Would that it would how are be things really going? <laughs> Wonderful. Wait, how could exactly. things? Exactly. <laughs> My husband said this morning, okay, we've been here a week. There's not been cold weather. There's not, we had sprinkles yesterday as we were leaving. Yeah, nothing much. It, literally a couple seconds. Yeah. So it's beautiful. It I mean, is. it's absolutely beautiful. That sun just, all the clouds just blew off I a little know, while ago. Every, it seems like every time I go talk to Roy, the clouds disappear. I think he has a connection. <laughs> I think he does. Oh, look, and I left my camera. The Osprey's out on the top Oh, yeah. Of oh, I think they're both up there. I we have it, one where we set up on two. Uh-huh. Literally, this is the fourth time yesterday we saw him, her. I don't know the difference. Sitting up on the branch with a fish. Sometimes oh, you see him catch it. Okay, she's but back. It's like it's that, where they on that feed. dead, that one dead branch. Wet, that's, dead, yes. Yep, yep. And she sat there all, the, I mean, hours yesterday wow. with yep. her fish. That is so cool seeing and, them. Yeah, and then I was like, okay, you've taken enough pictures, and it gets gory after a while. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once they start pecking the eyes yeah, out. Yes, <laughs> they start at the head, and yep. they just work their way down. And it's like, okay, I want to send a few pictures to my grandsons, but I don't know. No, that's, yep. Yeah. I think they know but that it's, the it's, it's pretty. pretty Low too on that. Oh, it's very low. You can get some great pictures. One day last week, he dropped the fish, which oh. I've never, you know, yeah. saw his tail, in there, and he didn't go down after it. Really? Like we thought that was really weird. Like he dropped it in the ground huh. and just never. Maybe it was dumb. I don't know, or maybe it was a bad fish and he had to hide it. I've seen him actually even out on the sandbars. You know, really? Sitting. Yep. I got one one morning. I came out and it was on the sandbar and it just walked out in the water and just kind of took a little bath. And fun. Flew away. <laughs> we have one over in the park. I was out in the pool the other day, and all of a sudden, all the birds you'd swear it was like the scene from yeah, the birds. They just and off. I happened to glance up, and an osprey had landed on the pine. Uh, and it was like, yeah, everybody left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when he left, they all came back. We got hawks too here. The hawks. I was, I know. I what the other day I saw something. I went, oh, that's not an osprey. Yeah. You know. I also wondered about an eagle. Um, I've got to find out. My grandson in school up north mm -hmm. is watching some Southwest Florida eagle camp. Uh huh. That's up in Fort Myers. Is it Fort Myers? Because yep. I said to him, "Well, honey, if it's Southwest, it's somewhere around where yep, Grammy is." Yeah, up in Fort Myers. Yeah. Uh, good to know. All right. Another, well, here, another, another, another visitor. Another friend of mine found an eagle's nest out to the east here. He was driving and he found it. And it's got babies in it. Oh, how yep. wonderful! And, I, and there wasn't a, anybody around it either. So. Uh, hopefully. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, maybe they were out. It's out way out of Motley Road. Wow. But um, I'm going to try and drive out there this weekend. To see. Yeah. Yeah. We had one, I think I told you, land back home right before we left. It was one of the sub-zero. I mean, it was like minus seven degrees. Uh -huh. And we were putting our grandkids in the car, in the driveway. <laughs> and I said to my son, wait, that's not a hawk. <laughs> and all of a sudden he looked, and of course I had no camera. Of course. He took pictures with his phone, but you know, not as yeah, good. Yeah, you, you can't get as close with that. And, nope. But it was. An eagle landed right there. That is so cool. Well, I should let you go. And yeah, all right. Enjoy the rest of your walk. Thank you. It's always Enjoy good it. seeing you. Okay. Thank you.
Oops. <laughs> I tell you, there's a really big jellyfish over Oh, yeah. There. There's a bunch of them out here today. Yeah. yeah. Well, I must have been on the air here for a long time this morning because I'm getting a low battery warning. Imagine that. That means we've gone close to maybe two hours. Wow. But it was a fun morning, that's for darn sure. A really fun morning. Started out with our dolphins. We got to see Roy. We got to see some of our Facebook friends in person out here. That is so cool. Here's one of those big jellyfish. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that jellyfish. Look how big that is. That is huge. His tentacles are underneath there. Nah, these are whoppers, these jellyfish. There's been several of them on the beach this morning. Hmm. Not sure why they're washing up on the beach. The past few days we've been seeing them. Definitely living in paradise here, no doubt about that. Absolute paradise. Beautiful water here this morning. The colors are just gorgeous. Good morning. Look at that view. Look at that sky. The water. I want to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. Hey, remember I don't get paid to do these beach walks. Okay, walk. Oh, absolutely. Walk on through. Gotta have people at the beach. Yeah, as I was saying, nobody pays me to come out and do these morning walks. If you like what you see and you want to send a little tip, make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. Every little bit helps. Helps pay the phone bill. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You look like you're on a mission. Getting out of the sun. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yep, I you got, got you. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but yep, yeah, uh, whether you send a little donation or not, I really appreciate everyone following along here. It's fun taking you along on these walks. I hope you enjoy them. We get to see a lot of fun things. We get to meet some interesting people, really nice people. Every morning's a little different. You never know what we're gonna find. We'll see. So be sure to join me for our next beach walk. God willing, that will happen tomorrow morning around the same time. I got started a little early today. We usually start about 7.45. Got started oh, a little late before 7.30 this morning. It was beautiful. The sky has cleared now. The sun is shining bright. The temperature is going to be 82 today. 82. Can you believe that? I 
guarantee it's well i can't guarantee i don't know where you're watching from but i bet it's warmer than where you're watching from i know most of our friends are up in the midwest well there's another one of those big jellyfish one down here Another one washed up up here. This one just came in. This one's all puffed up. It just came in. Let me take a picture of that. Bear with me here for a minute. These things are pretty, pretty large. Sorry about that. Just taking a photo. But again, you can see how big they are. Right the size of my hand there. And that one's just washed up. Tentacles are underneath. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These tentacles on the underneath side. You can see them moving around. Hmm. There's a lot of them on the beach today. Yeah, that's the first one I've seen, at least the back side. Yeah. There's one right over there. Oh, yeah. And they're, that's just about the fifth one I've seen this morning. Mm -hmm. Yep. But they'll just probably lay up here and dry out. Right. Turn it over some. If somebody steps on it, they don't step on the tentacles. But yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think it has anything to do with red tide, I don't you know? Think so. It's just a, the currents or something. Must be. <laughs> what an incredible view out here this morning. As we look up the beach. listen to the waves as I walk back to my starting point here. This color is beautiful. Some of our white ibis friends up the beach, a little flock of white ibis making their march up the beach here. Looks like there's about a dozen of them there, a dozen little white ibis.
fun watching them walk up and down the beach all day long. The little white ibis. Up the beach they go. Over here on the beach are two little snowy egrets. We've got the white ibis over there on the left and over on the right, two little snowy egrets. I go get a nice little photo of them. Maybe I'll get lucky before my battery runs out. Little fellas. I don't think I got a picture of them. They're so cute. Their little yellow feet and little yellow eyes. Kind of, yeah, perched on one foot. Oh, I gotta get the sand off my legs and wrap up the beach walk. I've been having too much fun taking pictures this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Water is absolutely gorgeous here. Ugh. Beautiful water. Beautiful, beautiful. My camera is saying low battery. Stop the live feed. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed our morning together here at the beach. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. If you find something you like, hit the share button. Don't forget to check out Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Nonstop Naples. If you're thinking about visiting Naples, if you're looking for a hotel, check out the end of Naples. The end of Naples. Centrally located, great hotel, nice clean rooms, wonderful people. The end of Naples. Remember, I don't get paid to do these beach walks. I love coming out here, spending the mornings out here with you. I do put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it. Not only these beach walks, but sharing photos with you as well from my beach walks. If you like what you see, you're feeling generous and you want to make a little donation, a little contribution, give me a tip, whatever you want to call it, it is always appreciated. Every little bit helps. Naples is an expensive place to live and I'm not one of those millionaires down here. I'm just a poor working stiff like probably just about everybody watching so if you do want to send something you can find a link to my paypal account in the description of this post so neat to see kids out here having fun in the water I love it all the families down here visiting visiting grandma and grandpa it's usually the case I'm going to turn around, give you one last look up the beach. And again, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow morning, God willing. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.